Well, good morning and a good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. IP Chocolate Milk, and this is Philbo's YouTube. This is also Philbo's Let's Play ish kind of thing of Vox. Okay, guys, so Vox is a game that you can get under the Super Network, and it sort of reminds me a bit of Cube World. If you know what Cube World is, you'll see the similarities very fast. Um, basically, when you get this game and load it up, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it once I, once I get in. But, um, you see, you'll cut, you'll start off with a little Mike character here, but you can also make your own. So, guys, I made my Philbook guy in this game. If you want to create a character, you can actually, I'll show you real fast. You can press that create character button right there, and you can actually make your own custom head, but you can also sort of pick, pick, kind of like a match and pick what kind of a head you want your guy to be. Then you can click on, like, create custom head or something, and then give him, like, a big nose or something. You know, it's really cool, all this stuff. <laughs> Giant vertical tongue. It's really awesome all the stuff you could do <laughs> Dirt man. He is dirt man everyone. I'm gonna click on create and as you can see we now have a dirt man <laughs> Dirt man Anyway, this so this game is Vox. It's currently an alpha. I'm actually gonna click play as a failboat right there And when you get into this game, you can see that there are four worlds we can start off on. I'm going to start off with Voxtopia, one of the pre-generated worlds, um, one of the worlds that came with it. But just because it has NPCs and stuff. And that may be more useful also. Uh, I just sipped my pee, apparently. <laughs> anyway, um, so this game, let me explain a little bit about it. Also, this music in this game, let's just listen to it. Oh, God, it's so good. Anyway, so this game... It's a bit like Cube World. If you guys don't know what Cube World is, um, check out some videos that have been coming out. Because Cube World recently, went, recently got into its closed alpha state, and you can see people like in the Little Woods videos and stuff on it. Uh, but basically, it's sort of like Minecraft, except it's all about exploring and not about building. I'll show you guys what that is, what that means, and that uh, now. Okay, so as you can see, I'll sp when I spawn in, I spawn in as Philbo. Hello, my cool little 3D model Philbo that I actually had to recreate because the first one get deleted because of a bug but as you can see when i play the game i immediately climb up one high blocks and i can jump with spacebar um it's really kind of cool you can use the scroll wheel to either scroll very far out or actually zoom into first person mode is that it's really cool although the arms are sort of a bit derpy for my character but hey so hello there uh melinda actually i'm not gonna worry about you just yet what you can do is you can go over to chests and left click with them and as you can see i got some uh some little coins there. I'm going to take all of this stuff. So I'm just going to put that all in my backpack. Now, you, like I said, you cannot break blocks yet. What you have to do is you actually have to press I. And then you get yourself your little inventory. And in this inventory, you have tools and other stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to equip the sword. We are going to equip the bow, the torch, the pickaxe. I have no idea what this poison crystal is. Abuse all your attacks with the power of poison. Interesting. I'm actually going to... Hold that. Wait, can I put that somewhere, maybe? Uh, rare. Oh, that's a rare thing? Awesome. And also, bombs, I guess I just got. Cool. Oh, yeah, and arrows. I'm gonna need arrow. I'm gonna need to have arrows in my inventory, like, down there in order to use the bow. So, I'm gonna press I to close this inventory. And when I press 1, aha, I will wield my sword of bloody murder. Now, you can already just see there, the swing is a little bit better than Minecraft. Uh, however, you can also do a jump attack slash thing, which looks amazingly epic. And it looks like we're running into our first enemy here, which is a slimy jelly thing. Holding right click on an enemy, like uh, like if you were to put your cursor right over it and hold right click, it'll kind of focus on it, similar to Legend of Zelda. Where you can slash away at it, and it's going to mash left click, and then I'm going to do jump attack! Oh my god, uh, yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, that's so epic. Uh, so I'm just going to get all those coins that it gives me. And as far as I can tell, actually, whoa, God, that's the, that's a torch. That's a torch. That's a really bright torch. Hold on, can I put that away? Can I put, how, how do I put that away? Uh, maybe eight? Okay, there we go. I just have to select something in my, in my offhand. Because you do, you do indeed dual wield in this. And if you are holding the pickaxe, yes, you can actually destroy any block. Um, you don't pick it up as an actual block. You just destroy it. I'm actually curious if this, if this physics. Okay, I had a feeling there aren't. So let me go back to the sword and... Oh, God, it's a mimic! It's a mimic! So these guys, if you're not familiar with uh, a lot of typical dungeon-y kinds of games, they are chests that are, oh, sorry, they're enemies disguised as a chest. And I got some critical hits on them. Yeah, baby. Ha, ha, 
Oh, bitch! Get owned. Get completely owned. Um, so what we're gonna do, actually, just to avoid... Whoa, hold on. Rabbit... Rocket boots? Give me that! Yeah, left click on that thing. So I'm gonna press I. Rocket boots. Double jump to activate your rocket fueled accessories. I'm just gonna put those right on our feetsies. And as you can see, I'll actually get little boots. Wait, I... Oh my gosh, that's so epic! But yeah, this thing... This... Wait, hold on. I'm gonna assume this is a mimic. Yes, it is! Because I could, uh, like, fighting... Sli okay, I'm tired of fighting things close combat. Let's switch to the bow and get things done. Pew! 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 By the way, that right click is, like, the only way to use the bow. The bow otherwise is so hard to use. Uh, what is that? Regrowth boots? Awesome! So, actually, let me grab my pickaxe and start mining this. So, yeah, guys, I don't actually exactly know how much you want me to do with this game, if anything, more than this. Because this game looks pretty beautiful. I mean, like, given that it's only an alpha, it does crash sometimes. Um, hopefully, crashes won't... Uh, I'm gonna call this a mimic. My god, why is everything a mimic? Um, now, it will hopefully get its, get a lot of bug fixes l done later. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. Um, <laughs> but until that point, I'm not sure if you guys just want me to do videos on this, like, occasionally. Uh, okay, this is not a mimic. This is a good guy. Uh, oh, what? Nothing in here. Blasphemy. Last and blasphemy. But, yeah, post in the comments below what you want me to do with this game. Because I would love to play more of this game. I don't want to call this a one and only, because there's so much about this game that, that's so good. Can I, can I shoot the bait? Pew! Oh my gosh! Jesus Christ, be with the top hat! Be with the top hat! Oh god. And I guess, uh, currently, this game is not multiplayer. It will be later, but uh, up to that point, no. Uh, oh my gosh, that rocket jump is so cool. I know you can get, like, wings and stuff later, too, which, which is always fun, always a fun time. So, can I, oh, hold on. There we go. A pew, a pew, a pew, a pew. Oh, can I get, like, a jump shot on him? Boom, baby. Why is that? Oh my gosh, a hammer? Whoops, I just pressed Q. I guess Q is quests. Guess that makes sense. Hammer. <gasps> I actually have never gotten a hammer before. I haven't played too much of this game. Plus three damage. And, okay, hold on. Here, I'm gonna put back the sword and take the hammer. So, one. Come on, baby. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, that drop shot. Um, but you can actually customize weapons. I actually think I customized the scythe at one point because you can get a scythe later in this. And I think I customized the scythe to be like a golden scythe. But uh, we can actually do it live during the game, which I will show you in just a sec. I'm about to die. Spear? Can I get a spear too? Oh, snaps on. Hold on. Uh, I, 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 Captain. I, uh, can you hear me? I, I, Captain. Oh, lives in a pineapple under the sea. Not me, actually. I, I just sort of javelin. Oh, yeah. Can I, wait. Why did it do like a lunge attack with a, with a freaking spear? Surely a spear would be more of like a thrust instead of a, hi, oh. Oh my gosh, right. Forgot jetpack. Jetpack of awesomeness. Wait. Jetpack ground pack. Wait, can I do like a jet <gasps> Can I do like a jetpack finisher? Hold on, what is this? A shield? Ice arrows? So yeah, there's actually quite a few items already put into this. So if I press I, I'm going to equip the shield right there. And if I press 7, ah! I guess I have a shield now. Awesome. And actually, I'm pretty sure I saw this right here. Um, it doesn't look like I'm actually holding that thing very well. Uh, if I drag the sword into here, yes, I can actually edit it, I think. Oh, wait, hold on a moment. <gasps> oh, wow, you can actually edit the size of it. See, I haven't seen too much of this, but... Whoa! This is... Wait, sword. Clothing? Can I edit clothing? Wait, can I make, like, a shoulder? Wait, a shoulder? Head? Head sword! <laughs> it's a... Head sword! Oh, oh god, that, that's, that's, that, we, we, we gotta try this.